welcome to PopCast, a crowd-sponsored yo-yo show. My name is Dr. Popular. Thanks to John Anderson, Taka Spin Gear, and all the rest of the patrons over on patreon.com slash docpop for making these shows possible and for their encouragement and for their help. I actually, uh, the trick that I'm going to teach today, the overhand 1.5 whip, I actually shared with my patrons earlier. Uh, a few months ago, I just shared kind of an early cut and got feedback from them and some tips that hopefully will help y'all out. So huge thanks in many ways to all the people over on patreon.com slash docpop for, for helping and encouraging me and, and making these shows possible. This week's trick is called the overhand 1.5 whip. So the thing about the overhand 1.5 mount is basically you are throwing a breakaway and letting the yo-yo come over your hand. So you are throwing the breakaway, letting the yo-yo travel over your hand, and right as you do, you're gonna do that whip. So when I first created the overhand 1.5 whip, uh, this actually wasn't what I was trying to do. What I was trying to do was uh, creating basically something that would put me here. Uh, which looks like boop. And the funny thing is, I couldn't do it. I thought that trick was impossible. So instead, I just kind of got really good at doing this guy, which is dope. And I couldn't then figure out many tricks other than doing it with freehand. With freehand, it makes a lot of sense, um, you know, because you then let the counterweight go. But when, when doing the overhand whip, I just kind of got stuck, you know, just like, well, I don't know what to do next. You know, you can kind of bounce it or something. Uh, but in all honesty, my original goal for creating this trick was actually trying to do this overhand whip, which I thought was just impossible, you know, like I'm not hitting it now. <laughs> so let's kind of break this down into steps so you can figure out. Like I said, it's going to start with that breakaway. Let's kind of think about this by starting on a trapeze. And you know this whip, this is basically uh, your, your finger rotates around and you whip, kind of putting yourself into a Mach 5, that's going to be the same, the same whip and very similar to the overhand 1.5. So let's kind of think about the parts in terms of that. So like I said, um, the first thing you're gonna do is just wrap, point your finger forward, down, and inside. That's gonna set you up for this whip, for the overhand 1.5 whip. One thing that really helps me is keeping that string distance really close to the tip of my pointer finger. So uh, some people might be kind of like here, where you actually want it here. The further out, the bigger that whip is gonna be. And when you're doing that whip, you want this part of the string to come out and land like that. Do that whip and end up here. So we're just gonna do that same thing we were doing here but do it while moving the yo-yo over your hand. So I'm just doing this while doing the whip. Once you've landed that whip, you can just let go. And this is basically what we're gonna land on when we do the overhand 1.5. So it is just basically kind of like a one-handed trapeze. That's the exact same position that we're gonna end up when we do this. I didn't do that roll and I just did the whip. Whoops, it's hard not to do that roll. It looks like that. So that's a good move just to kind of get used to the motion and break it down as much as you can without having to do the thing real time. But when you're ready to start doing this trick, basically we're just gonna start by just practicing, just going over your hand. So the yo-yo is gonna go whoosh, right over your hand. And that's important. Whatever you do, make sure the yo-yo goes over your hand. So when I'm doing my breakaway, I'm actually setting up the string at the same time. I'm just gonna do a breakaway and let the yo-yo go over my finger, over my pointer finger. And that's gonna set me up for that nice whipping motion later. So I'm gonna see if I can kind of break that down. So I'm making sure my finger is out. I do that breakaway. You can see it's on top of my, my finger. And then I'm gonna be able to do that whip really easily. So here you can see just how wide that is when I do that whip.
A nice flourish you can do if you really want to be baller is a forward rejection and then try to catch it back on the yo-yo. So this trick is just a ton of practice. This is like uh, 18 years of practice for me and I guarantee you when I first tried hitting it, it didn't look anything like it does now. Uh, so hang in there if you're having trouble with this trick you know, take some breaks or whatever, but this is, you know, just have a cup of coffee in one hand and just practice this whip, you know, see if you can get it. Yes, this is coffee. And just kind of as an example, um, I recently tried relearning this whip, but from the other direction, just, just for shiggles. I thought it would be really fun to kind of go through that again. And you know what? It was hella hard. It reminded me of what it was like when I first made the trick up. Uh, it was very frustrating, <laughs> you know, here I am kind of hitting this thing all the time and You know just going the other way. It was like, oh, yeah, right I had to kind of learn How to set up the string again and how to do all that stuff again uh, If you're interested just because I'm mentioning it usually you go here when you're doing this whip So obviously when you're doing the whip from this direction You want to go here, right? This is how you want it to end Just like that. So I hope that helps you learn the overhand 1.5 whip. This is a trick that I think everyone should have in their arsenal. It's a beautiful flourish. It's a great trick. It's really fun to hit consistently. And uh, yeah, if you end up learning this trick and you want to share it on Instagram, uh, tag me at DocPop, or you can tag hashtag popcast yo yo. That's a great way for us to see uh, what tricks we're all learning and you know, we can kind of share tricks from, from previous podcasts and how we've kind of changed them. So hashtag popcast yo yo is another great place to share stuff. So I've had a lot of fun stuff happening lately. We went uh, camping for the first time, uh, our first time leaving the county since the pandemic. It was a really awesome experience just to spend four or five days. Uh, I got hella tanned, uh, some might even say sunburned, but I had a great time didn't get any ticks so that's a good sign maybe maybe things are going my way so I have a bunch of yo-yo stuff in the works we just came out with the day tripper and uh, by the time you're seeing this video we're probably all sold out of day trippers they were uh, extremely popular um, these are made in America made by one drop uh, they are slim versions of the weekender the weekender is my modern responsive yo-yo ultra light really like a kind of a really fun yo-yo to do stalls and stuff with and i teamed up with jeremy from zipline strings to do the day tripper he did a, a batch of strings for them um, we both had them on our stores those are probably like i said sold out that was a crazy long wait trying to get uh everything there's weird shortages and stuff that just made it very difficult to get out but we're super glad that people finally have those and they seem to like them that was a fun project i don't know if we're going to do another run again i think chances are really good that that's just that's just it. The day tripper, whoever got one, got one and, and that's it. But we'll, we'll see, only time can tell. So the Sean Exploder is a V-shaped yo-yo, kind of an extreme competition yo-yo, very different than the yo-yos I usually do, which are organic, uh, very rounded. This is very hard edges. Um, I reached out to Sean Garcia, who's an amazing photographer. And I said, hey, Sean, if we could do a yo-yo together, what would you want to do? And he sent me the sketch that's on this yo-yo. Like it was like 30 minutes later, he sent me the sketch. Uh, and basically this is a yo-yo that's, I mean, it's a fun playing yo-yo and it's got a lot going on, but it's designed to be photographed. It's designed to take pretty photos. And what I mean by that is Sean came up with this idea of doing these, uh, these tiered edges, these kind of hard edges, because the hard edges are gonna pick up light better. They're gonna, uh, they're gonna show more distinctly the, the, the light and the shadow versus kind of a rounded yo-yo. And to kind of complement that, to kind of go along with that, 
we came up with this idea of doing like a really smooth bowl on the inside. Uh, so this is like kind of this organic round, really fun for finger spins. Um, and then this hard, you know, crystalline kind of shape on the outside. This is a fun yo-yo. This has been, uh, I don't usually like V-shaped yo-yos. I, you know, I almost always go for the organics, but this yo-yo has been super fun to throw. Um, and I can't wait to get this out. It's the first time I've collaborated with a, another like yo-yo or kind of like released a signature yo-yo for someone else. And speaking of collaborations and the Sean Exploder, one of the neat things that's gonna come with the Sean Exploder is a yo-yo stand. I've never done designer yo-yo stands before, but basically this is a yo-yo stand with uh, Sean uh, on one side taking a photo and myself on the other side blowing up the yo-yo. Sean is really known for his exploded yo-yo photography where it looks like a yo-yo is kind of floating, there's the bearing, the pads, everything's kind of exploded out. Uh, and so I wanted to create kind of a homage to that. You can put your Sean Exploder on there and pretend pretend you're, you're Sean Garcia taking an amazing floating yo-yo design. Um, the artwork on this was done by Rob Arman. A uh, huge shout out to Rob. It's been great working with him. He's uh, an amazing illustrator who also is really into yo-yoing. And then one other collaboration that I might be coming out around the time of this video, it might take a couple more months, is The End Part Two, which is a yo-yo project I'm doing with uh, round spinning objects. Basically, this is a tribute to The End. And this is just the prototype, uh, the, uh, the classic, organic, just nice, beautiful. I got to do art uh, for the packaging and worked really closely on just kind of making sure we, we we gave uh, a nice nod to the original The End while you know updating certain parts of it. This is gonna be an amazing yo-yo. Round Spitting Objects is totally in control of this project, so you'll have to follow them on Instagram to find out when this is happening. But The End Part Two, eh, it's kind of a funny name, right? Part Two, The End Again. I'm kind of hoping that uh, I'll be able to get together with The End crew, the uh, original Yes Absolutely folks, Phil Cox and uh, Nick Korea, who who did the modifications for us, and kind of do an oral history of the end, you know, the original end, because there's a lot of weird, cool stuff that happened with that. It's the first yo-yo with schmoove grooves. Um, it was it was a fun project to work on, and I definitely want to kind of like capture that history somewhere. So maybe in a future video we'll we'll do that. So that's it for this episode of Popcast. The overhand 1.5 whip is one of my favorite tricks. It's a trick that I've wanted to capture for a long time, but it's kind of intimidating to teach. Um, if you have tips or questions or anything related to the trick, share them in the comments below. Let's help each other out, figure this trick together. I'm sure there's uh, better, better ways to learn it and better tips that you might figure out that you can share with other people to help them get uh, get right into that whip. Thanks for watching. We will see you in a month. And uh, again, huge thanks to everyone on patreon.com slash docpop. If you're interested in supporting this show and also getting uh, all sorts of behind the scenes information and uh, access to our virtual yo-yo club, which happens on the second Saturday of each month, check out patreon.com slash <laughs> docpop. Okay. All, all this cheesy self-promotion is making me sick. I'll see you later.